plaster in a historic building is much like a family album. It has the handwriting of the artisans, the taste of the original occupants, and the evolving styles of decoration are embodied in the fabric of the building. That's why the construction crew at Vantage Health Plan's state office project knew they had to restore the original plaster moldings found under the drop ceilings of the almost 100-year-old building. So when workmen were getting the state building down to the bare bones to start their reconstruction work and found architectural treasures, Jerry Brazier searched for a true plaster craftsman who could recreate the missing pieces. One of the neat aspects in this project is all of the gypsum plaster work and, and marble that we're going to restore back to what it was originally intended in the, in the 20s for the hotel. And one of the difficult things in that was, was locating a plaster contractor that was talented enough to restore it. He found that artisan in Brian Gagne from New Orleans. Gagne learned the art under the tutorship of his father. He's recreating the lime plaster moldings of the 1920s. In a time-consuming process, which includes making a mold of the molding, then recreating it so it will look exactly like the original. I'm using the old way because for me to recreate what they have, I have to more or less make a replica of what they had and use it the same type of uh, materials they used before. It's the same process. What you do is you make it exactly what you have on the building itself and you place it next to the old piece and you tool it in with molding plaster where you never see the seam or anything like that. Ornamental plaster has a beautiful age-old quality that draws us in and transports us to another place. While some say this is a dying art, others have realized that it is time to save our heritage. But now people are coming in and they're starting to recognize how beautiful this type of plaster is so they want it back. So plaster is making a big time comeback right now. Plastering is one of the oldest arts and trades there is. It's rich in history, and a plaster design can be one of a kind, or duplicated over and over again. I found the best possible spot in the building, and we used Rebound 25, which is a rubber silicone. I painted it at least four coats on the area. I came up with this type of result which is a complete profile of the actual area that we did. After that, I made a mother mold, which is made out of uh, molding plaster and lime, and I backed it with the burlap sap to make it strong so it won't break. I placed everything in the mother mold, I mixed molding plaster and lime, then I poured it inside the mother mold itself. And then after a process of maybe 10 minutes, it took up, and I pulled it apart, and this is what you have. Once the Vantage State Building is finished, it will serve as a showplace for Gagne's artistic handiwork and be admired and appreciated for many years to come.